Good evening. I'm Chris Bernal, aka Crifu, and welcome to Manapot Studios' Vampire the Masquerade campaign, Albany by Night, Season 2. I'm very excited to be back here with the Kindred for Episode 1, um, and a uh, furry friend who never spends time with anyone, but decides that this is the moment she's going to come out and hang. <laughs> <laughs> Let's meet our players. Hi, I'm Sarah. I play Rhea, a venturer and the current Prince of Albany. Hey, I'm Richard. I am uh, playing Serge, a Toreador, who is a uh, former lackey for Rhea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> has, bad at, has developed a bad attitude. Hi, I'm Scott. I play Nick, a uh, gangrel and current and hopefully future sheriff of Albany. Hello, I'm Jonah. Um, some people watching may know me as the host of The Table, which is currently on hiatus, and keep an eye on Manapot for when we're coming back, which will probably be early 2020. And I play Herschel, or Herschel Ostrapuller, a uh, Tremere, well, we'll say court wizard for Rhea, much against his will and to his chagrin. Welcome to Albany by Night. The sun sets on Albany, New York, the capital district of the state of New York. From the eastern side of the river, the Rensselaer side, which is more run down, you can see narrow, poor looking brownstones uh, on the small hills that border the Hudson River. As we look west to where the sun is setting, setting behind the skyline of downtown Albany, behind the agency towers of the Empire State Plaza. And a few hours later, a woman steps out of a building in downtown Albany and begins walking towards the Capitol itself. She stops a block or two before there in front of the Bank of America. Uh, a generic enough sounding bank, but the marbled interior shows its historic past. Rhea, what does this woman look like? She is always, always wearing a red satin top, um, very professional, business professional. Um, through her many years as a detective in New York, she has learned to keep her hair tied back just for any instances where she might need to be quickly on the move. Um, she does tend to keep one curl on the side, very 40s-like, reminiscent of her mother when she was in her, uh, the human years of the 50s. Um, and she always wears stiletto red heels and a pencil skirt. Louis Vuittons? We could say that, yes. Like the underneath are red? The underneath are red. She's walking into the bank, which by this point is already set up for her. In the past, in her first year as Prince of Albany, She's had to arrive early to court, setting it up so that the mortals during the day wouldn't realize that something is going on. But things have changed since then. The employees of the bank know that there is a special someone who uses the building after dark. So there is a plush black leather chair surrounded 
at one end of this marble hall by small little black plastic chairs, things that after an hour sitting in are going to feel uncomfortable, even for the undead. But she's surprised to see someone sitting. Well, I'm not going to tell you that you're surprised, although I think you might be surprised to see a petite-looking woman, uh, her white blonde hair done up in a large bouffant. Is that the word? It's large. <laughs> She's wearing a black dress and a blazer. It is Babette, a woman we met earlier this year. February? Yes. Ah, Prince Ria. I'm surprised to see you so out in the open. Our meetings are usually a little bit more inconspicuous. She feigns a yawn. It is quite early for me, I must say. That would be why I'm surprised to see you up here as well. I have news. I know our first meeting last winter was not the most, well, that wasn't even our first meeting, but our, our most important one. I would say the most eventful, would not say the most important. <laughs> Ever since then, that night, you have shown me grace. Dare I say kindness? Don't. Going too far. And, of course, I very much appreciate your lack of fondness for flattery. I have news from Montreal. Are you going to spit it out or are you going to keep talking around the subject? Well, I'm not used to these Camarilla politics. I assume that there must be some sort of fragrant language. Small talk, I think Americans say. Yes. We just, in about I don't know, five or ten minutes, there's going to be a few awkwardly early people arriving. And, and I, I wouldn't want to interrupt our conversation or release too much information to ears that might not need to hear it. And I'm not sure I would like to be here when others arrive. So I tell you this. Sabat, come once again from the north. How close are they? Do they take Montreal? They are fleeing Montreal, oh, as damn. David and I did almost a year ago. Do we have, do we have a week? Do we have days? Hours? We have a week. From what my sources say, little birds, you know. They will come in waves, one by one, or by three, by five. A horde to expect is not the right idea, for most of the Sabbat have been wiped out by the Second Inquisition. But all we need is three, or two or three to blow our entire cover, and everything that we have worked for the past year to establish in Albany. This is why I come to you. To share this knowledge. I appreciate that, and it will not be forgotten. You can find me in at the country club. And she stands, and there's like this wind around her for a moment. The scent of a winter's storm fills the air, and she looks at you with piercing cold blue eyes. There is more. This land. I can hear its pain. Kaldunic magics are hard to explain in words. Dunic magics? Kaldunic. Kaldunic. An old Tsimiche craft. Uh, discipline. Still, I wanted to give a warning. And to let you know that David and I will do our best to protect the line and ourselves. I 
appreciate that. And whatever you can donate to our cause is obviously very, very much appreciated. And I will, I will continue to keep your secret. She like looks up, hearing something. Boots walking up the pathway. <laughs> he does not like me that fun. He doesn't like many people. I shall take my leave. That'd probably be a good call. She curtsies deep and elegantly. It's an old habit from Constantinople. I try to curtsy. Please. Not deep and not eloquently. We'll be in touch. Thank you. The very pale, white-haired woman leaves out the back door of the Bank of America. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott, who do we see coming in? Uh, we see a tall, medium build, kind of unremarkably handsome, dark-haired figure. He's wearing uh, jeans and, a, and boots, and he has seemed to have for a while, he used to wear suits for these type of things, but I think he's kind of let Albany find its way into his uh, general day-to-day. -day. Um, and so he's kind of got a little more nonchalant in his... Uh, what's that? He's like flannel. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, he might be rocking some flannel. He'll be tied around the waist sometimes, as a, depending on the weather. He's not living in New York anymore. No, he so is not. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we've been doing that for the same Oh, uh, so, so um, I, I think Nick, uh, uh, who is the sheriff of this town, uh, comes uh, walking in and uh, makes eye contact with Rhea. What's up, boss? Had a visitor this early. Ooh, Herschel? No, not this time. Oh. Mm. To it was our friend from long ago. Babette. What? Yeah. Well, you know we've had a few meetings. <laughs> she did not come with good news. We need to speak about this quickly and before anyone else comes. Um, it's about her coming. I, we, knew, we knew this would happen, but we just don't know. We have maybe a week. Her and David are going to hold as much as, of the line as they can, but we need help. Do you need cocaine-infused blood right now? I need you to get no, here. No, I just no, no. I'm I'm here. Except, what do you expect me to do with this information? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Um, it's like, hey, like, buddy, sheriff. There is the 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 the, the, the nightmare for the Camarilla is coming in force in a week, and we are right. We need we need we need help. We need to go to the ivory tower. We need to go. I think we need to go to New York. We go to New York. We've been slowly building this up, and then if suddenly we've got a blitzkrieg coming from the north. Only, only if like I've sent you. I've gone myself once. If we go and present a united front, right. maybe we can persuade them. Yeah, but I have a friend there. I need to talk to you anyway. Right. So perhaps this will be the we've been talking about. So this actually might be. I would say good news. Okay, but I'm saying is this is compelling information to provide to the people who've been. Giving us the like, giving it, talking on both sides of their mouth. And I mean, now it's like, now it's not like we can say like, hey, it's not like they might be coming. Now we say they, they are, are coming. Absolute, for the, how do I? <laughs> how did we find this information? I can't tell them that. That told right, me. Right, anonymous sources are really going to fly in maybe, New York. Why can we? Maybe we can send a scout. Why can't we expose Babette? I've made a promise, and she has been very good the past few, the past year since she tried to. Kill us. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying, I mean, I, I, loyalty is all well and good, but she's not even in the country. I mean, she probably start. She the, has been abiding by their rules. Our rules. Right. But if we, it's, if it's between them and between It's us. not. We're not there yet. Okay. Well, like I said. I, we, send a, we should send a scout. We should, we should talk to someone who lives out in the line. Ooh. I sent. I mean, I sent a message to Irene. I haven't heard back. I'll send another one. Oh, Irene's so dependable. 
Most of that should be a problem. I apologize. She is when it matters. Is <laughs> she? Sometimes I just I don't think you have enough faith in people. Gang rules, am I right? That's true. <laughs> There's something else. There's something else that we need to. I need you to look into, and I'll probably speak to you others about this. What is a atomic bomb being delivered? Caldonic or... magic. <laughs> Have you heard that? No, but I know someone who probably can talk I'm, about it. Go care? ahead and make a I was cult like, roll. Yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> um, yeah. both of you actually have experienced caldonic magic. Caldonic. Don't you wish the occultist was here? A cult, <laughs> a cult and... In, in. Oh, um, yes, there's two stats that we have to roll for. Yeah. Well, I've got uh, zero so far. Yes. Right, I remember how to play this game. Let's make it a two. <laughs> it's been a few months. And are we hungry? <gasps> we didn't roll hunger. So I guess not. Right? <laughs> well, I mean, you, know, you know everyone starts with hunger, so make sure you're using a blood die, a hunger die. Alright, so, you're All right, so I have three successes. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, a, a critical on my. Actually, you have to be two critical. Two critical. Oh, I got two critical. Oh, no, so that's four. So I have one success. Okay, so that's a double. Yeah. That's one, two, three, four, I have one success. five successes yeah. for you. Okay, so yes. So when she said it, I probably was like. You, you know that like that is the magic that she used to control the elements. Right. Um, and that that is in fact an old Sumiche art, uh, Sumiche being Babette's clan, right. um, that uh, hails specifically from uh, Eastern Europe. So she's feeling it, but she's not causing it this time. Correct. So there's something else causing it. I will say with that, 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 that critical success, um, that in addition you know that Sumiche, this Kaldunic magic which is very old, it's not common in Sumiche in these nights, um, that it comes from their clan Bane. And Rhea knows that the clan Bane for Sumiche is that if they do not sleep with at least two handfuls of soil from their homeland, they awaken horribly weakened uh, by that stuff. So they, to, the bet has an innate connection with the earth. Despite it being, you know, horrible and undead and awful. Right. Well. So you need to look into. I, like, we should talk. With I think you need to pair up with Herschel on this one. As much as I. He's gotten pretty useful. I know this. Herschel and I are working very well recently. I know. But, like, not too well. Odd right. couple over there. Yeah. Serge, where are you? I suppose I'm putting on presentable clothes instead of painting clothes. You have an apartment. It's very close. In downtown Albany. Yeah. Does anyone live with you? Uh, Trevor Barra, um, who is my child. I listen to him as a retainer. Aha! He seemed, but that seemed more fitting than Ella. So, uh, is, lives there sometimes. Okay. Is he, you're, is he helping you get dressed? Uh, I have him look presentable. He's assigned to look presentable. Mm -hmm. Um, I look like I just came from painting something intentionally. So tell us what these two men look like in your apartment. Uh, I think, I think we decided last time that, uh, Trevor is just sort of tall, Sort of gingery, sort of looks like he's sort of he, he one of the ways like an old wins. Irish family with lots of money. So he's tall and burly, really red hair, uh, fair skin, pretty, pretty like naturally big, broad, big shoulders, big you know, big build. Got a lot of red chest hair yeah. coming out of his shirts at all times. Came from a wealthy family <laughs> that was known for their patronage of the arts. Yes, that's okay. So he is not a classic Toreador artiste, but he comes from a family who's patron of the arts, and he was converted under under a duress. Mm -hmm. There was an evasion invasion that was thwarted that night. Yes, if I remember like correctly, he was he was he was uh, Serge's previous stalker. Yes, like all all sirens Serge. 
except stalkers, um, and has but he was Serge's previous stalker and uh, invaded Serge's home uh, that night. And Serge, tired of dealing with his bullshit, mm-hmm. uh, converted him. Embraced, embraced, as we like to say in the Camarilla. Camarilla. Uh, that suggests though that Serge does not. Huh. Serge knows he's passing on thin blood. So Trevor's a thin blood. Well, he's 14th generation. Okay! Serge is 13th generation. He has to be thin blood. Now we're cooking. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, So we see this very burly, hairy ginger man, Trevor Barron, uh, well dressed in a gray blazer and pinstripe pants. Um, And he's waiting patiently uh, in your living room. At the front door. Describe Serge. Serge is uh, tall and kind of gangly. Has very very dark hair. It used to be really really well kept when he was living with his own sire Troy mm-hmm. before Troy abandoned Albany. Um, and uh, since then, Serge has taken up. Uh, has he still hones his craft of acting? But he's taken up. His art form. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he's constantly almost kind of creating an aura of a painter as much as being a painter. So he everything he wears is paint, dots on it, even just even if they're just small specks. Uh, did he pollock his own outfits? No, no, he but he never he never tries to avoid it. Okay. So it is very organic. Okay. Uh, but he never tries to avoid being. So he has like a white t-shirt, v-neck, uh, jeans, and sort of like he throws on like one of those old cashmere visors that just kind of heavy and like paint splattered. Um, or paint specked, not splattered. splattered. Right, right. <clears throat> so Trevor's there waiting. Yeah. And we see and he Sir. throws on his combat boots and, uh, and uh, you know, because they're cheap. Right. And then uh, his belt. Both of these men can't look older than 21, 22? No. Well, I, I think Trevor looks a little older because... 24. He's like 25, 26. Uh, Serge looks 20. Very, very young looking. Mm-hmm. So Trevor's... <clears throat> well, uh, you're uh, going to court tonight? Yes, I'm going to court tonight. Will you have need of my... Services? You've been presented. Does that you? Have you? Oh, no. Well, you know, I think you should come. Tonight? You need to be presented. This is the end of the accounting, right? The Camarilla failed. You violated the masquerade. I only acted in the best interest of the camera. I know. You've said so many nights. I just, I'm tired of. I'm sorry, never mind. You're tired of. I don't want to be here anymore. You don't be where with you. That was all you ever wanted. He looks like down at his feet. I know, but the last few months you killed me. I brought you back to life. Your death would have been a scandal. Every night that I see my parents, my family, it's torture. the only 25-year-old to spend less time with your mother. And it's not like anyone wants to spend more time with your mother. Including you. She's very cold, I know, but I just... What's to be expected of me tonight? 
I will introduce you. To your friends? Associates? You mean other? Do you see Rhea's money in here anywhere I look around at our medium sized apartment? This isn't yours? This is what Troy had to give over for a man, you mean? That's your sire. Like I am to you. He's your grandsire. I speak of him respectfully. God, that guy was so hot. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry, when you last saw him, you called him old. Yeah, I was trying to hurt you. Can we go, or what? I extend my arm. Like, he needs to put his arm through yours? No, no, no. Like, I'm about to put my arm through yours. Oh, and he falls into position. Arm up. <clears throat> And opens the door for you. I feel like you're meeting one of your father's artistic proteges or whatever. Okay. Game face. Game face, yes. If that's what you call it. So, the two of you exit the apartment building um, and begin strolling down the, the streets of downtown Albany. It's windy tonight in New York. Uh, I forget that every time we play Albany by Night, it takes place right here, right now. So, on October 11th, uh, it's about high 50s. Um, probably a little cooler in Albany than it is here tonight in Brooklyn. Um, but definitely very windy. So you can see Tre Trevor's scarf gets picked up and flown off into the wind. And when it lands back down, we see, well, who do we see, Jonah? Herschel. Um, he is a gaunt um, young man. He's about 20, and his head is actually completely shaved very, very close. Um, he is wearing, now actually, he has stopped wearing suits. Um, he always was wearing very rumpled suits, but he's wearing a blazer and a bow tie, and he has, a, he has some pins on his jacket. Kind of looking like a preppy punk, um, but not doing a very good job of it. Um, <laughs> clearly, he would be more at home in a suit. And he looks like an older man? No, he's 20. Oh, oh, he just yes. acts like an older man. Well, because he has been dead for over 60 years. Right. Um, he's been dead since World War II. Um, and he, I would say... He kind of, he's walking down the street, and he looks down at his pants and sees that there's some blood on them, um, and just kind of, like, looks at them for a moment, and, like, ah, and just like, starts brushing it off very frantically, um, and then reaches into a leather satchel that he always has with him, and takes out a Tide pen, and then just starts rubbing it on his jeans. Um, I think some, like, a couple is walking past, a uh, man and a woman. And they kind of like look over at you, tiding your tie pen. He, he looks up and he goes, I, I spilled wine. It's, you know, it's how it is. Uh, have, a, have a good. And he kind of just watches as they go. Um, and then he just stands up, you know, strains his glasses. Um, and I would say he doesn't see Serge go in. Um, if Serge is, would Serge be ahead of him? Um, you think? If you're stopping to. Type in yourself, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that, in that case. I actually was thinking you were going to arrive before. Sir. Oh, in that case, he. This was all during the conversation that Serge was having. And he just strolls right into the Bank of America, um, sees. Um, well, first, he sees Rhea, and he goes, Oh, my prince, up. so good to see you. It's great to see you tonight. And Nick! Oh, such a good boy. Too 
Like he, he walks, he goes right, he does a beeline to Nick, ignoring anything Rhea says, grabs Nick, and kisses him on both cheeks. <laughs> Odd couple. Are you going to start your own sitcom? Do you think we should? It's probably not a great for the masquerade. I, well, if we should, I'd, I'd be happy to. If no. We should no, make no. jokes. He no. doesn't get them, that's fine. Just take a, take a seat. Right. And I would say, where where would, because by now I am assuming that Nick has a seat that he always sits in, and so does Herschel. Mm-hmm. Um, what seat would Rhea have given Herschel? You got the good one right in front of the ATM. Well, because like, th- at this point, like by now, Herschel is sitting where Rhea wants him to. Even though he does not show up when she wants him to. <laughs> Probably just like the farthest from like the straight view, so I don't have to see you. Oh, perfect. So he's sitting, he sits over to the side, and he's kind of like off to the side and just leans and goes, Nick? Nick? I don't think Nick sits much. He probably has a chair, but he probably paces around. Yeah, he's trying to get Nick. Nick, Nick, come here. We're the only ones here right now. We don't have to do this little like stage whisper game. I have heard. The most wonderful rumor. Did you know that the Pogues were a band? Yes, I'm aware. Have you heard their music? Yeah, they're yes. They're excellent. I'm going to <sighs> yes, yeah, they're pretty good. Um, and and have you heard of this new thing? I don't want to talk to you right now about anything. <laughs> you think there are very big things happening in the world right now. Look at to that. Guess what? <sighs> the door revolves. <laughs> I look you right in the eye and I make a deep curtsy. And then a second person walks in behind Serge. A tall, burly, ginger man. I'm sorry, are you lost? Very closed. He was Hello. brought in to an error that Ekram and Sadie made. Ekram and Sadie? That was month. Ekram and Sadie have not been seen for months. What? What are you talking about? Was this before or after the whole business and the sewers? I'm unaware of it. Business in the sewers. All I know is this gentleman was in the custody of Ekram and Sadie and then turned up in my apartment. Yeah, so what's he doing here? I would this like is can I, Trevor. Yeah, I, I'm going to. I would like one. to. Um, I, I don't. I, investigation. I don't. Since I want to do sense motive. I'm, or like see yeah, I have I insight, I have insight at insight. three with a specialization in detect lies. I mean, I. I so none of this is a lot. None yeah, of it's a lot. But that's that's what Herschel is doing, right? So yeah. I'm not trying to see what is the yeah, intention. Yeah. I'm, of I'm this. not going to try to listen. Yeah, I did, but I can see. Yes. Like the mm-hmm. right. yes. So, so uh, um, Rhea and Herschel, please roll uh, wits and insight. I can do that. So, for those of you who have not played Vampire the Masquerade, we use ten sides for everything. Uh, we use pools. Uh, those pools are um, made up of a two different scores of dots. Usually, have uh, between one and five dots in uh, either an attribute or and or a skill. So, in this case, we're using the attribute, the mental attribute of wits, and the skill of insight to determine um, to sense. Uh, Serge's motive, essentially. Which, we've known Serge for a while. Yes. I, have, I have three successes. Okay. okay. I'm going to borrow your sheet. Oh, wow! No hunger dice? Oh, that, one of these is a hunger dice now. I got one success, because it has to be a six or higher, correct? Correct. I got one success out of six dice. Wow. Serge, I'm going to ask you to roll... Even if I don't want to lie? I, I'm going to ask you to roll, like, etiquette yeah, okay. and charisma manipulation. You can do that also instead. 
Uh, I want to oppose it. I add a hunger die. If you, 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 you are all at one hunger currently. Uh, so yes. So that is criticals are double if if I have one success, right? If you have if you have two criticals, then they count as four single. Okay. Yes. So that's two successes. Two successes. Mm -hmm. So Ria, you uh, are 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 not necessarily going to be swayed by any of this. You will remain your own person. But uh, you're trying to derive insight, and so I think uh, that for the remainder of this conversation, uh, Serge's manipulative abilities are great. I believe he's telling the truth. Um, but also, and, and, also and then I, I forgot to roll, I forgot to roll yes. my presence die. Which is, the, so that is five successes. Okay. Wow. Five. Yeah, that's our whole nice. Four. Th these Three. are four plus one. No, you have Wait. two. There's, so there's two crits oh. and a one. Oh, he just got another crit! Damn. So, but you are at five successes. But I'm not lying to you. So right. So, yeah. same same as, as before. Uh, just that extra oomph of presence in the room as all eyes turn to the young man in the pink specked clothes. He was in Eckerman City's custody when he showed up. Until how long ago? That I have no idea. He I showed up in my apartment in April. April? We're in October. He's been in your custody since April? What did you want me to do? Bring him to, to like, bring him to light. Tell someone something. You've been hiding this. How do you expect me to report back? You are undermining my authority here, actively. I would like to um, use uh, drug gaze. Disciplines! Um, you yes. pissed me off one too many times. Yeah. Dread gaze, baby. You're, you're essentially using your presence ability to uh, intimidate Surge supernaturally. And it's uh, presence and intelligence. I got composure. It. I got sorry, it. intelligence. Wait, sorry. I can't remember Ooh. what my secondary role is. Adapt. I think it's composure. We're looking at rules of our book. Right. Composure sounds right. I made myself a dice. Good days. Char Charisma plus presence versus composure okay. plus resolve. That's what it is. So, uh, our Prince, Rhea, will roll Charisma plus Presence, and Serge, the Defender, will roll Composure plus Resolve. Ooh, what can I get next? So this one, that, that is one, two, three, four, five, six successes. Six? Yes. Okay, Serge. You've got your uh, good luck. Feel free to move some of those out. Yeah, I'm yeah I'm probably probably put, them in, you. put a bunch in there. I've got two in there. We've got some dice trays <laughs> up in here. <laughs> up in here. You know, like yeah, the song. Too. That is okay. only one. Oh, Just, ooh. Okay. So, but six to your one? Yes, yeah, some side eye. Please. <clears throat> you are actively and continuously undermining my authority in this city, and I do not appreciate it. How does your how yeah. you look now? I feel like the shadows have like deepened, and like I have an apparent age of like 26, 27, and I now have like an apparent age of just like, like I don't know, like 30 or 40, probably 40 or so, but in the way of like experiential intimidation, to where like you suddenly are in the presence of someone who knows and like has seen so much more than you that you feel immediately terrified. Like my boss's boss. Yeah. Boss. And so like the, the yeah like this this massively important and influential person just starts talking to you and you just kind of get like frozen and they just seem so much larger than life. Yeah. <clears throat> so what is what is Greg Gaze doing? <laughs> you you drag gaze. So uh, you are unable to act other than in your own defense for a turn, unless you spend willpower equal to the user's margin of win. Okay. So it's five. Five willpower. Uh, I would call that a well, it's not a critical win. So yeah, 
Uh, you're unable to like yes. really act. You're so intimidated. That's a lot of willpower. What is this little like? Because I also kind of like want to like direct a little bit to his new puppy dog. Trevor. Yeah. Nice name. Whew. Okay, Trevor's composure plus resolve. Well, does it? Well, you know what? I might He's gonna be running back to his his blood. He has no composure. This man, when we saw him last season, he was losing it over you. So, right. So one. So but I'm, I was also doing really well on roll. So. Uh, right. Yeah, you were killing it. Okay. Right. okay. So uh, um, two nothings and a crit on a hunger die. I don't think that does anything. No. Yeah. yeah. No, it's only when it's c- coupled. Correct. So only one. I know how to play this game. Um, so uh, so he's got two one success, just like his sire. Um, he's frozen still. Well, you scared him. <laughs> the two of them are standing in the entranceway with like the spinning doors behind them, just like. My prince, I, I, I might say that was very impressive, but um. doesn't really answer any questions. I'm not asking any. I have Did you hear me ask a question? I have plenty. Okay, you can wait your turn. I'm not finished scolding. Go ahead. April! <laughs> Since April! You know how many conversations I've had with the Ivory Tower trying to reconcile all of the things that happened last spring, and you come to me with this new... This new little tidbit of information that we think we could have just had already pushed under the rug, and we already have a situation to deal with. And now, now we have, now we have a flaw. Now we have a loose end to deal with. Eight. All right. That's your question. Well, we have, we have other loose ends, but that's not. But that's beside the point. A uh, young man. That we know. And that's. Herschel is talking to Trevor. Uh, just a, uh, uh, don't, you have no reason to be afraid of me. Um, I'm. Look at me. He just kind of gestures to himself, ribs basically poking out. Um, what is your name? Let's start with something easy. Trevor. Pleasure to meet you, Trump. I am Herschel. You may call me Herschel. Herschel? Yeah, yes. that's right. It's you got it. You nailed it. Oh, Herschel Ostropol. You might have heard of me. You might have not. If you like, if you're a fan of myth, you probably have heard of me, Herschel Ostropol. No, this is what we're doing. He shakes his head like that's ever fine. so slightly. Well, young man, how long have you been this way? Asia, we're talking we're a few months. We're talking How many about interns. Five? He's six. He's a kindergartner. Six months. He's a toddler. He's nothing. He's wearing his fucking shapes and colors. I'm going. Herschel is going to also do insight on him. Okay. As much as he believes that Serge is not lying about this. Mm-hmm. He knows that sure he doesn't really trust anyone. Sure. So that's going to be another I'm just gonna not specifically if he's lying. Oof. That's just a bunch of dice falling. Yeah, go ahead and make a wits plus insight. Yeah, check. just trying to check my insights. A young Trevor Baron. A little Trevor. Why did you, if you like this person, why would you bring him to us? <laughs> yeah, that's not always a good I idea. Do like do you yeah. know what we have to do now? Do you know we have to report like this? Um, okay, that's three successes. So, um, he's definitely not lying. Uh, it's... It's uh, what, what I think. What you're when you like, you kind of walk, like look at his eyes, kind of look around the room. He's super afraid of yeah. Rhea, um, but there's this look of <sighs> desire is not the right word. He looks over to Serge, and you can tell like there's something else going on between them. What? Okay. 
I was going to ask, who is he more afraid of, Surge or Rhea? Right now, Rhea. Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, We're all scared of Rhea. Yeah. Well, <laughs> weirdly <laughs> enough, I, I don't No. Virtual isn't. You shouldn't be. Oh, you seem worse. <laughs> I feel like you were never scared of me, you always just wanted my approval. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> he just wants Rhea to like him. Uh, I think at this point the intimidating, yeah. uh, the dread gaze is starting to wear off. Yeah, I just like, I turn around and like, compose myself. Young, young man, clearly you have been ill-advised on how to approach the court properly. Take a seat, take a seat. You don't want to- Take a seat, just sit down, we have important things. To talk about this is not another run of the mill day at court. Follows your lead. I take a seat. We need. We need everyone. Not you yet. You don't count as everyone. It's obvious. He's the only one in the room who is breathing. Yeah, yeah. So. She's like that. Just with that, she's just kind of just like for a second. She's like, "Are you seriously doing that right now?" Really, like, breather, breather. It's like someone nice chewing loudly. Breather. Breather. <laughs> to, clar- <laughs> to clarify, um, would you like me to reach out to the technomancers? Yes. I guess we're going to a bar. Not yet. Good. First, do you want to know why? Of course, I'm just clarifying. I'm saying I would like Nick to come with me to the bar when we are done. Well, I've been in a gunfight in months, so that should be fun. We stop talking. Okay. I have been informed via scouts that the Sabbat are moving in, and they will start filtering in our pleasant city very shortly. We have barely a week to find help and secure resources in order to maintain the line. By the way, noob, we are at war. Welcome to our world. Um, Does Geo know? Probably not. Should he? I'll leave that to your discretion. I do believe that every member of the Camarilla should know at this point in order to maintain our lines. Excellent. And to that end, we have to make a united front trip back to New York in order to secure resources. With your blessing, I will pass the call through the pyramid. Consider it blessed. And we all know that we have friends in New York. Each of us know somebody that we can reach out to. There is a long-standing vacancy in the court of Albany due to no appropriate available kindred to fill. I must go to New York and talk to one of my friends, David, there, Daniel. Daniel, his name is David to his friends. Yes. David Boy. (laughs) Um, And talk to him regarding the Harvey vacancy anyway. Okay, what do we do in the meantime? We have a week to build our cases, to build, to research and find out more information about exactly how many Sabbat are coming, where they're coming from, and what this other uh, the other stuff that we found out with the underground lair. Of course. I mean, what, are, what resource are we looking at? The gangrel that I've gathered through I read have been incredibly Flaky. unhelpful. Yes. Flaky is the right word. So, the Nosferatu situation, I feel like we've to secure our situation, we've got a little precarious, and they're coming right when we're at our weakest, which is, I imagine, how they do. Yeah. I so, would say the 
Premier would definitely have a vested interest in protecting our reestablished, newly reestablished chantry. Right. And if someone was from New York, and I was like, where's Albany for like majority of my life? I mean, it's... It was always up there. Yes. We have to demonstrate the value of having a buffer between them and the survival. It's six hours. Yeah, it's nothing. It's a... It's a Three by train. Three by train. It's a, it's a, it's, it's, we have to demonstrate how it's important, and that's going to be the trick. The fact that we are the front lines, anyone who has been in a war or read about a war or anything knows that the front lines and maintaining those and trying to push those further to gain more territory, that's very important. Now, we can't go out there and dig trenches. That doesn't really help us at all. No. But anything, and I'm sure the Ventru. I can go and pick their pockets and their brains as to how to manipulate our surrounding humans to help, even though they don't know they're doing it. I don't even know how to like. What, how, like, how's this war being fought? I mean, like, what are they? Where are they coming with? Are they coming to wipe us out? Are they coming to settle up? And well, the past the last two sabbat that we ran into when they first came down here were trying to kill us. So, doesn't really set a good example. <sighs> no, it does not. Serge, uh, Trevor is like kind of like suddenly tugging on your sleeve and when you look up at him he mouths to you war. Well, good for absolutely nothing. So just nuts. Sir, you haven't said much. What do you think on the matter? You don't seem to be shook at all. Well, I had to survive the last time you went to Manhattan and left us here to face this about by ourselves. You're coming with us. You're not staying here. Hey, road trip, buddy. That cat must be wearing off on you. <clears throat> you are catty. OMG, I'm living for this. I'm unliving for and this. And in what? <laughs> in, in every other situation that you were present in and I was here, you were of no use at all. In fact, you made it worse. That Might is... we speak of a little bit of diablerie? What? What? That didn't happen. Almost did. Word's gotten out, people know. Well. You didn't cover your tracks well enough. No, clearly. That's interesting. Since the. It was told in court, I think, both of you. I don't think so. It was, but actually, it was actually brought up in court. Still it was. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was there. It's interesting information to hear the second or third time. I'm just going to do a quick pause. I'm still yeah. interested. In you know how Christine. Ooh. You know how Christine is. Oh, right. Yeah, it would be really nice to have a super experience kid right now. Flashback. Should we? Let's do a let's, <laughs> let's do like a quick <laughs> cut. We're in a black dressing room, fake fog everywhere. Um and bats have like what was it? Bats? Rats? 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 Those crazy rats. Mangrel who were about to kill her. Yeah. Right. So rats have like oh, okay. swarmed yeah. over yeah. this yeah. woman's body. She's wearing like a long, elegant um, black she deserved it. gown. She like, was trying to kill me. Short black hair and she's like <laughs> screaming as a, a crowd, a group yeah. of kindred are just watching these rats attack her. And then a moment later we see Serge like descend upon her body. Cut back to the court. Or Thank you. <laughs> was anyone else coming to defend you? Did the person who attacked you die? Yeah, but not because of you. Actually, definitely because of me. She was already disabled. She couldn't hurt anyone. I, just, I have an idle question. How are we supposed to present a united front if we don't even have one here? We lie. I was early informed now that I was part of a front. Oh. Mazel tov, you're part of a front. Sir, come on. Yes, I'm from now. You are well aware of the fact that we're scraping the bottom of the barrel, and you're right there with us. You are the scum at the bottom of the barrel, and we need you. You are essential. I'm a really good pep talk. It's just a Tory leader. You are, huh? Spot aside alongside you once. 
it's I know. As I'm saying, we're on the same team here. I'm just saying, like, we should be aware of the fact that this is a we are in dire straits, and so you know, strange bedfellow is in well known, <laughs> right? I'm sorry, we're we talking about bedfellows. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever, whatever euphemism you want to throw to that, that's fine. I'm saying we are like we don't have to like each other, but we obviously like each other better than the Sabbat. We have a similar, a common enemy. Because those guys are real assholes. Can you put away your claws for one night? Yeah. I would not you. It's more than happy to. And the prince has a prerogative to put her claws out. You don't have the same kind of prerogative. Was I should not answering your question? Yeah, yeah, but we know. You answer your question, there's answer your question. You know? To be nice. Yes. Good. And don't and your 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 baby's getting scared, so take care of that as well. I you put a diaper on that thing before you put By it. the way, Trevor, tell them your last name. Your mortal last name. Baron. Of the Baron family. I had excellent taste. I didn't choose him. I know. This is all came to me. In fact, he violated the masquerade, was turned into Ekamasedi, and then showed up in my apartment several weeks later. Wait, who's sired? Like, he is mine because killing him would have caused a bigger scandal. I know, I know. We're all dealing. As, as you all understand, we are all living in the shit story and making the best of it. No one's judging you for that. Was it? Was it Maybe she's thing? judging you for that, but it's her prerogative. Um, during this, I think that there's a there's a moment where I think Herschel has a quick mental flashback, which is he remembers in the sewer. The conversation that Sadie and Valerie were having about escaping. And then there's another quick cut, which is him in his current outfit um, closing a door in his house, um, wiping his hands covered in blood, um, and then wiping them on his pants before catching himself and then cleaning his pants, which is how he got blood on them. Because if anyone remembers, that's Valerie's body. When she's been studying. <sighs> Which I took as a flaw. <laughs> as a dark spirit. <laughs> this is when we kill Chris. Oh my god, but everything from the first season is like flooding yeah. back to me. I, I oh, specifically yeah. took that now as a dark secret flaw. Right. Well, then you right. should have put that in the previously on Albany by now. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> These yeah. flashbacks are powerful. They are. They are. And in that flashback, we we see two women, uh, one young, one older, talking in the sewers. Yeah. Um, Valerie, the woman yeah. whose body you have, uh, her body is still yet to decay. I would say by now the body is not intact. Oh, are you? Oh, he's testing it. He's trying to figure out what made it tick. Bisecting. It's all in pieces. Like, that's why he has blood on him, because he's been, this is what he's doing, this is his leisure time. Right, right. He's trying to figure out why is this body not decaying. Understood. Okay, okay. I believe the, that this is, that's me asking you out of character for oh. correction, <laughs> that Trevor was just in Ekram's Haven, yeah. and then eventually escaped because no one came back. Like he was not held with such security that if no one ever came, if no one ever came back, he couldn't get out. Correct. So essentially, like he knows very, he knows nothing about where Ekram and Sadie are. No, he does not. Because he just, no one came to like keep him in his place. That could have been a question we asked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then, how old are you? <laughs> no, you, I was trying to confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I have to money it. if you need it. Do you know how we renovated the palace? You, what is the name of the main theater? I'm sorry. Ooh. Palace. The palace. No, that's no, the palace. Real is the bar. The bar. 
the Barbara the Technomancers are in the yeah, Order and all that. Yeah. Uh, the, the symphony. The Albany Symphony. Yeah, yeah. it's just the Albany Symphony. Do you know who renovated the Albany Symphony? The kid made it white. I don't know. No. No, it was 5% based. The Palace Theater. That is correct. Percent oh, this parents. is a game. Okay. I want to find out about his money. Maybe uh, he's got some Pokemon cards I don't have yet. How much can you get? Uh, do you have a trust fund? Do you have access to your parents' accounts? Yes. Do they yeah, exactly. use Bank of America? No. Sorry. Uh, I could get a few hundred thousand, I guess, under short notice. Pocket change. Maybe eight hundred thousand, rather. All right. Well, a little bit more than pocket change, but useful. Do you remember? Flashback to when I got a plate check. I remember that. It yes. was like a few million or something. Yeah. The you were just doing the mental math of like, what would that actually get you? You rich, that's for sure. All right, yeah, that could buy us a politician. That could buy us into some uh, humans' pockets, though. Yeah. Humans go for cheap, especially in these parts. Um, sorry, Aldi. <laughs> it is the help of the New York Senate. Yeah. <laughs> it can also it can also help us um, put in any infrastructure that we need to get places faster without being seen. Mm. Um, we might need to start thinking about some sort of plans like that, which means we will need a planner or architect or someone in the city office that can gain access to these things. If you give me some time, I might be able to ward some of at least not just a bank, but some object, some key locations. Yeah, we this is middle game, maybe even long term. We like short term short term. short term. We need to like levy troops and be like on the Look out for maniacs who don't follow any kind of decorum when it comes to these type of things. They're going to show up. And they're going to send out kill squads, and they're going to come burning down resources. They don't care about. Do we? When they were here before, they killed a lot of people. Yeah. They're going to ruin. They're going to. They're going to fuck with the masquerade. They're going. But I know. And I know the we masquerade. Need more intel. We need everything. You do. Um, so put that down. Whoa. Yeah. So, that, but to, to my prince, to your point, what's a priority? Priority. Priority number one. You get the money from your parents. Okay. Good with money, we can do something. Don't be seen. Don't be heard of. You cannot contact them. Thank you. Huh. You just take the checkbook out of his hands. Yes. But. That is our prince. But that's my life. Your life is not this now. Your life is nothing. You would do well to forget your last name. Also, you have the blood, darling. It was your life. Come on. The blood of Christine Zhao. Who your father gave so much money to. No, really, Christine? <laughs> my grandsire. Your great grandsire. The tragedy. She's the one who. You. Oh my god. Oh, wow. He's, he's so precious. It's alone. He's alone. Well, that's happening. Don't bounce. Wait, how many? No. <laughs> you look like someone who does a big swirl at the top of their signature and then tiny letters. Ah! ah that looks exactly like it! Trevor, it's going to be okay. Okay. We really appreciate you. Well, I'm gone. We'll be able to spend extra time at your mother's place. You're not... I don't get to go to New York? Maybe Darling. we should... But I'd love to see. Darling. We might have to take him. He needs to be introduced and explained. I was not introduced for four years. Yeah, you had a completely different prince and a whole... Uh, can't get into the malfunctions of your upbringing. Nor can I. <laughs> so we agree on that much. Troy. He lived in a city named Troy because he thought it was cute. You are better off without. Did you take your like special like upper pills today? So like. Do you just what? Uplifting. Of course, I'm better off without him. I don't. 
tiptoes. I know that. I'm just saying we don't have time. I'm. It's the bigger picture. I'm trying to. Yes. to make We're lemonade. trying to agree on a thing, aren't we? Yeah, I'm making lemonade. <laughs> Fan of lemonade. It's too sweet. He's it really good with vomit. I know that. I know that. Why do you think he's my sheriff? I've got. I didn't order. hire Doctor Phil. I hired a fighter. So that's why I don't understand why he's trying to. <laughs> Just anyway. trying to put together because we're losing sight of them. Oops. If we were so, still little, I would go get us some scotch right now. Why don't we do that? Why don't we go talk to the Technomancers? Do you think that they can help? I have no oh, idea. God. They're here at Albany? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. Left. yeah, they're in the Palais Royale. Um, no but beside point. the point, um, do, my per uh, do you mind if I just use the bathroom for a few moments? Do you have to make lemonade? Sorry. Yes. Why? No. I believe I might be able to learn something. From, From the Bank of America... Bathroom. Oh, from okay, your Okay, fine, go but, do your business. But we don't. Thank you. Don't uh, worry about it. Um, what I'm, I will say, what Herschel is going to do is he's going to the bathroom so he can focus. He's going to rouse his blood. I do the same thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, and then try to get a premonition. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Make a rouse check, please. Well, first I'm going to do with the rouse the blood. Um, um, so that I will have an easier time getting a promotion. Okay. Um, so you're enhancing your generation? Yes. I'm basically, what I'm trying to, what I'm going to do is... All Lots of blood magic. Yeah, doing a lot of blood magic. So first I have to do a rouse check. Okay. To um, rouse the blood. To do rouse the blood. Uh -huh. This is very much what a, this is Tremere one, like, very, like, very Tremere, doing lots of rules to do. Tremere doing Tremere. Yeah, Tremere does as Tremere does. So first... For the crunchy vampires out there. Oh, very crunchy. Alright, so I get to do... Ooh, I just one reroll for my... No, it's too well. Um, Alright. Ooh, I do get some hunger, because I failed. You're up to two hunger now. I'm up to two hunger. Um, now I am going to roll... I have to beat a three, so I'm rolling... Resolve plus my blood sorcery, so that's six. So, tell us what it looks like as you're trying to this, rouse the blood. I would say, in this specific case, he just walks into the bathroom, closes the door, and then sits down on the floor. Um, he... Chris, I have a question for yeah. you about this as well, because I have sensed the unseen. Right. Like, how does that extend? Do I need to be in the same room? I wanted to, like, for instance, he says I have to use the bathroom. I know that is a place he would go to do, to be private to yeah. do his blood magic bullshit. Yeah, I feel like he knows, like, that is pretty much okay, going totally. right What's like, this discipline called? This um, power? I am doing, first I'm doing blood potency. Got it. That, which is, that's just a discipline for blood sorcery. Then I'm going to use the auspex um, discipline of premonition. Yep, yep, yep. Um, but depending on how well I roll, I will be able to do, like, I might even go up by two points. Got it. So I might get something. And you know what? I would probably just it. assume he's doing blood oh, yeah. bullshit, and I wouldn't. The, the, the sensing of scene wouldn't give me any like. In, they just tell me that something's happening, and I already assume something's happening. So I might just be like, we went to the bathroom to do something. So yeah. I might just yeah. be like, you're okay. okay. Yeah. He's doing, also, I'm going to the bathroom because if there's any blood anywhere, it's going to be easy to clean up. Like, but I think you and I have done this song and dance, and oh, have yeah. to be like, oh, he's going to the bathroom to do his like, you know. Private blood yeah. bullshit. You like interrupt like. So Herschel like, like, yeah, walks into the bathroom. Walks into the bathroom. He sits he takes, down. He takes off. He sits down. Takes off his jacket. Folds it very nicely. And then he basically looks like he's meditating. But in like our view, as like the viewer, it like I think it starts to kind of get a little bit red, and like things start to get a little bit wonky. And I will, I will say the soundtrack definitely gets red. Um, it's like real key minor. Yeah, it's like a very quick. Like, yeah, and it's like, dude, it's like very dude, subtle. Weird, weird, subtle. Co weird covers of like yeah. beloved standards. Yeah, and he's just oh, he's just sitting there with that, and like that's just because he's trying to get his blood up. Got it's it. maybe Got like it. a couple like close shots of like inside his veins as like it just starts pumping more. Reroll that. 
Alrighty, I have a question. Yes. So, is it a messy critical if I got three crits and one of them is a hunger die? Yes. Because yeah. I could... Alright. So, for rousing my blood, I think what ends up happening is the view of his blood, like his veins, start just like dumping out. And like, because I got a crit, oh, wow. I got I got a four, five, I got six successes. So I beat it Damn. by three. A critical win increases it by two. Yep. So I got one critical win to rouse my blood. Okay. Um, so now it's, I increased it by two. I'm going to make a ruling. Yes. This blood potency will last all night. Great. Take another hunger. Awesome. Um, so now I'm up to three. Oh. <laughs> also means that blood's way too potent. Now this also means I before this I could slick my hunger normally, and I am a bagger, which means I refuse to eat from anything but bagged blood. Mm -hmm. Now I can't. That will not slick my hunger tonight. It will not. Um, I just will have this hunger unless you feed. Unless I feed. Um, but I it's again I'll get a stain because it's against my way. Um, I don't like feeding on people. Okay. Uh, no. So now I am going to do. Let me check because I got a crit. Now I'm going to do my auspex, so I have to do a rouse check. Do you roll hunger dice for this? Uh, for premonition? No, no you don't. Not for, not for rouse, but I get to roll three dice and pick the best. Right, right. That is because correct. I got plus two for my blood. Because we understand how this game. Yep. Well, it's I know how to play this game. We, I, I, like, I had to understand all of this stuff just to get it. I know. Because I'm playing this kind of character. Oh my god. That you cannot cool. spell willpower, spend willpower to reroll your rouse, can you? No, that's the one thing you can't. I, I rolled three dice and didn't get a single success. Ooh, hunger. I am at four hunger now. That's bad. Friends tacular. I'm almost frenzied. Um, and then you need to like go and like scratch your ass. You're gonna like start biting people. And yeah. <laughs> um, and now I'm gonna roll to get a, like I'm gonna roll for my premonition. Okay. I'm well, gonna since read the rules for premonition real quick. That's right. Really right. <laughs> Just yeah. in case. We haven't left the bank yet. Nope. And this this guy's about to lose his shit. Oh, yep. Trevor, we hardly do. Oh, poor Trevor. All right. So He's I'm gonna just get my guys ready. So when you're you're meditating, this red. Hugh comes over mm -hmm. the camera lens and like like maybe it starts shaking. It's yeah. Definitely shaking. Uh, and, and as we see you just and like it tilts like ever so slightly, just so that you're looking you're we see him sitting at a weird incline. Oh and it shoots around to your face and like your mouth opens up and your fangs just are there yep. and obvious. What are you Focusing on in this premonition. Um, I'm focusing on was Babette the woman that we fought by the lake? Yes. I'm focusing on her because she's the only Sabbat that I remember. Right. Uh, and you're rolling Resolve plus Auspex. Yes. And for the viewer, I'm rolling five dice, four of which are hunger, but I can re-roll this because I up my blood, so I can re-roll up to a level two. Okay. So I don't have to do anything. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So the good news is I can for the whole night. I thought you couldn't re-roll blood dice, but since no, you are level, since I am now yes. my blood potency is so high, I can re-roll any of my disciplines. You can re-roll like that. Yeah, you cannot. Blood. I can't spend willpower to do this, but I can automatically just re-roll any of my level two or lower disciplines. Right. So that's, a, that's great. Yeah, right. That's why you all have that ability with your level one discipline. Right. But now I have that up to level two. To re-roll the hunger for you. If you basically get, like, advantage right, on the hunger. Do you, do you have to re-roll all of it? Because, uh, no, I'll keep it. I got, a, I got four successes. Uh, any... No crit. No crit. No, okay, okay. Which is good. Because yeah. it's going to go real bad. <laughs> sure. Um, the yeah. beast roars in your throat, in your mind. And you shove it. Straight back down to where it came from, almost backhanded. Very good for long composure. Very yeah, good for you. Yeah. Good for us, to be honest. In to the viewer, mm -hmm. we see the bathroom that you're sitting in, and we can hear it first. 
this cold wind um, begin to sort of swirl around you. And in your mind's ear, you can hear cries of pain on the wind. Cries that are hard to make out. They don't sound human. They sound ethereal, spiritual. It's a level of magic that I don't know if you've tapped into before. This type of channeled natural energy, but there's still always that tang of iron associated with it, the taste of blood. The camera, your mind's eye, zooms up, 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 out of the Bank of America, out over downtown Albany. We can see the Capitol itself lit up with floodlights on the yard. <laughs> and then even further up into the dark black sky. And then down once more, further away, far to the west, the falls, Niagara Falls, and Buffalo, New York. You can see the hotel, the large building wood and glass on what used to be an old campus. There are mortals, you know that, strolling the grounds, enjoying their stay at this wellness center, this plaza of health and self-care. And then we go down, underneath, further. You see the progenitor labs that Irene spoke of. You see the kindred in there, examining the space. Kindred that we know are there, that we think are there. And we go further and further down. The tunnels become catacombs, dusty, cobwebbed. And we see a stone plinth and a very, very, very pale child in glasses with light blonde hair. In a plain white linen shift, laying there. And as your mind's eye is standing over him, his eyes open and stare into you. The vision goes black. And that is where we'll take our break. Dear viewers, thank you for hanging out with us. We'll be back in five to ten minutes. Uh, hopefully five, but who knows. We'll see you in a moment. Welcome back to Albany by Night. A, a Herschel, I was going to try and give you an adjective. A Herschel walks out of the bathroom and into the marble hall where the rest of court is standing and waiting for him. I would say Herschel is visu visibly shaken. Like, not shaking, but... He's so little paler than he normally looks. Hmm. Which you, is quite bad. <laughs> are you okay? I am <clears throat> I'm absolutely fine. Um I believe you said something about going to the Palais Royale. Yes, to talk to the techno mages, see what they can help us with. I'm aware that one of them is very connected. We could see what resources they could, you know, donate. That's a great idea. Just keep dropping everything. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> great. Character. Um. Shall we? Are you going to order the Uber, or should I? Uber. I have a driver. Oh right. It serves that gets the Ubers. Or is it? I, I forget. I don't have the Uber account. I don't know how this works. Just come in my car. Okay. I mean, you better watch out for that surge pricing. Ah! Uh, 
Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a win Fly out the window. <laughs> well, we're, I we're, it. we're without a GM because Chris threw himself out the window. <laughs> no, I was ordered <laughs> to throw myself out the window. I used awe. <laughs> oh. So, all right. Okay. Rhea's stretch town car is waiting outside. Per usual. Step in. Who's sitting next to who? So we squeeze into the car. I really like that. I think I left Trevor sit next to you. No, no. No. No, no, no. Because I no. feel like we might no. both enjoy his discomfort. Okay, yeah. Yes, I, yes. I, yes. I, I think Nick and Herschel are sitting next to each other. So we're pretty there. much in this exact order, yeah. except <laughs> there's... <laughs> Shut him over. Yeah. Trevor, 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 Trevor is there. <laughs> but it's like it has like it's it's like an L shape, so it's like a mini limo. So you have like a little little bit of a turn yeah. of a, the seats. Yeah, yep. yeah. It's a yep. turn in the river, you know. So, so I think he's Trevor's not really between us because it's a limo. Oh, Ooh, how posh! I was born in a limo. Gross. That that seems very unsanitary. It wasn't. <laughs> actually, I think this is actually a fun moment because I think the two of us like get to be like, next to yeah. each other, and we're doing like our like we we've been hanging out probably too much in the last few months, so we're like having our like small talk. Like, I can't believe this fucking happened. Yeah. Also, yeah. while that's yeah. happening, yeah. Nick has his nine uh, millimeter uh, pistol out, and he's like checking, like he's like checking, making sure that his clips are like you know that his magazines are. Are full and he's like he's like checking his weapon as he's talking and then tucking it back into his jeans as he's going because last time he was at his bar he got into yep. an elaborate gunfight which seems to happen every time that he goes out you know with Herschel so this is what his expectation is. Are um, you expecting there to be trouble? That Nick always expects there to be trouble um, um, at one moment and Herschel will take out a bunch of I Heart New York magnets which he has enchanted. Um, to, like, because he always has these on him. He enchants them constantly. They are bloodstones. They need to be a magnet or a piece of iron. It allows him, he, I mean, this is up to you, Chris. Mm -hmm. In order to create it, I do have to do a rouse check and beat, um, intelligence plus blood sorcery has to beat the level plus one, um, which would be a two, um, in order to craft these, but it, does take a week to craft them. So I could just do that right now. Yeah, go for it. Um, and maybe I'll frenzy in the limo. <laughs> that would be bad. I also pull out my firearm. Yep. Um, <laughs> just in case. Just in well, case. Like, I think, like, we've, like, me and Nick have talked about this this bar before, mm -hmm. and okay. I have a little holster um, on my, like, on my thigh. Mm -hmm. I passed the rouse. Okay. Um, no more yeah. hunger. Yeah, no more. No <laughs> hunger. Now I just have to. Poor Trevor is what I'm saying. Oh yeah, and I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trevor yeah. just sitting there. I'm like already like like just pull out guys. I like seductively like lift my skirt <laughs> and like see these little things. I, 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 I stare like, like I don't need hold eye contact. I don't need while, like check yeah, out. Yeah, like, um, one. It's for, like it's uh, a whole story. Like because you wasn't expecting or, like, or, right or three because you wasn't expecting. Up to your resolve. I like it. I have, my resolve is three, so I have three. Um, so there are these I Heart New York magnets that he just says, and one for you, and one for you, and one for you. And he's done this enough times for everyone except Serge, because I don't think he's done this with yeah. you. We've never been in a session together. Yeah, this is a tracker. This allows him to know where you are. Like, he doesn't know exactly where you are, but he will know what direction you've gone in. Because also... Last time they went here, everyone got separated and had to fight demons. In the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to the exact same way. So, but um, he's she old. She, she puts yeah. it she puts it in this way, it's, this way he knows where everyone is. So Rhea could go to him and say, hey, where's Nick? And he could say, Nick's vaguely that way. I'm sorry, but Trevor speaks. We're going to see mages? <sighs> You're having a fun night in court, aren't you? You're a good person. Have you not given him any sort of tutorials or lessons You've or had since at least descriptions April. of what has happened in the past? He's clearly given him painting lessons. Gone over this. 
six months. Yes. So you're going to see mages. Did you think you were never going to meet them? I mean, I'll be with you the whole time. This is like, that doesn't help. This guy's like a general compared to how much, like, you know, like, this how much resources we have right now. This is, Trevor is our, like, one of our best chances. Yeah. Oi. The, the okay. future. Oi. Yes. <laughs> Oi, boy. Rhea. Well, who's your driver? Oh, I hate him. Forgot his name. We call Maybe him Spanish. Uh, <laughs> Matthias. Matthias, yeah. your driver. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so there's a <clears throat> miss. Uh, your driver in the front. Um, he's wearing a lot like black and black and black with a little hat and driving gloves. Uh, what's your last name? I don't have one. He just calls me Miss Ria. Miss Ria. <clears throat> We're being followed. Um, great. Cool. Uh, we've done this before. Mm -hmm. um, and he's already like turning the wheel. And just letting you know, I'm trying to lose them, but there's a car. What kind of car? It's an old sedan, uh, dark green. Dark green, uh, can you see make? Is it is it high end, low end? <laughs> he like kind of leans over, because the back, yeah. Window is totally tinted, so you can. He's enough to see the lights of the cars coming in, but he kind of looks through his, his side window. God, it's been a while since I've driven. Um, <laughs> um, looks like an older man in the seat. Uh, a white dude. Not sure. He's been stalking me. What? You have this problem. Well. I do too, but not clearly as obvious, and I know how to lose them. I'm also a siren, so we have the We're same the, problem. We have the same. Have Hence the same. why we tend to butt heads. <laughs> I used to. Okay, so he's a human. <laughs> he's very human. He's not a problem. Thank you, thank you, Matthias, for the information. But let's continue to Palais yeah. Royale. And if he comes out of the car, he's your problem. Can I deal with him? Gracefully. Hey, we're all the same team. Your problems are our problems. Okay. Looks like Herschel could use some blood. I, I would say Herschel has, but he puts a mason jar that has like traces of blood left on it that he has just chucked back into his bag. And he doesn't, he's still like shaking with hunger. Miss Rhea, I'm not losing him. Shall we proceed to the Palais Royale? Let's proceed to the Palais Royale. I'm sure that he will be ma he'll maintain being on our tail. Yes, ma'am. Um, and if he is just a stalker, it will be no problem to get rid of him. Get Understood. Your fan boys. Mm -hmm. So the stretch town car uh, moves its way out of downtown Albany and into the suburban residential it's not suburban residential neighborhood north of downtown uh, you can see row houses up and down these heavily wooded streets wooded these streets with big trees um, and we stop in front of a, uh, a white uh, shuttered building um, with a neon sign up front and it shows like Two dice rolling, and it says like like in that neon. I was gonna call it a retro GIF. Yeah, yeah, because that's literally what like, it is. Yeah. yeah, it's neon like the dice the moving, dice don't, don't. and it lands on Snake Eyes. Very Vegas. Yes, yeah. and Palais Royale in the the window next to all the buildings. It just looks like another house. Right. Um, maybe there shouldn't even be a bar here, but of course they've got their permits. Feels like it's only been a few months since someone fired a shotgun at me. So, well, they, they shot me. <laughs> He's dropping everything. I, I yeah. just, I'm really hungry. <laughs> 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 Alright. And the bar stops out front. Okay. I'll let you do Step the out. Talking. 
I can't park here. I'll <laughs> come around the block and park across the That's street. Fine. That's fine. We can all step out here. <laughs> Just so that you got the door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I immediately low-key look for the following car. Well, you, you def see a, a, a car with headlights on coming down the street from the direction that you came from. Uh, in the, the light, um, you can tell that it's an old sedan. Could be dark green. Okay. Is there a bouncer outside? No. Okay. <laughs> These you'll bar is, to is he following you? Lot. Is he stalking you out of a romantic reason? I think he doesn't really understand why he's stalking me. That's fair. It happens. Oh boy. Alright. Alright. I'm going to go walk in. Yep. I will. I'll go in too. <laughs> Tertial and I are kind um, of regulars. Uh, not like really. you. No, no, no. <laughs> but. Sorry? I'm going to try a thing. Oh. So, tr- uh, Rhea, you go inside as well? No, no. Okay, okay. Nick and Herschel have stepped inside. Yep. There were no. Uh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping <laughs> Trevor outside no, just for a second as they go inside, mm-hmm. just just pause for your regulars. Like before the, and I'm looking in the eyes, and I'm going to try to see through his senses. But first, I need to do a rouse check. Well, I wait outside. This is all specs. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, so Yo. oh, I did not do that rouse check, so my hunger goes up. So you're hunger two now. I am hunger two. Half is hungry as Herschel. Which is just lovely. <laughs> it's not good for you. It's Love terrible him. for him. Oh, God. Uh, but I do roll with five dice. Let me set aside two hunger dice. Uh, the dark color. Share the senses on yeah. level three. I decided dice. right before the session to do with this instead of see, since scry the soul. The difficulty is going to remain three. Yes. Uh, there are no crits on the hunger die, but there are three total successes, which is what I need. Exactly what you needed. So, and then I. I give Trevor a little. I'm so sorry. I put you through this and give him a little peck on the cheek. He almost shudders as he kisses him. You're being very kind and very good. She's very one sided. Yes. Uh, because she likes you more than you love him. She loves him. <laughs> I will start playing with him soon, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so why don't you go inside, just relax. Just think of it as this. You want to sit inside and just describe what you sense and what you see. You're dealing with mages. You don't want to give them an invitation to invade your brain. So just stay calm. Sit and just watch what the others do. Don't feel the need to intervene. Don't feel the need to act. Okay, just look. Okay, I will. So, Trevor, you can do this. You just just sit where you can see. That's all you have to do. He just turns and is like, and goes inside. This is a learning opportunity about a level of power that your parents never exposed you to. So when you're perceiving his perceptions, <laughs> do you are you? It doesn't say anything about you retain your own perceptions. Yes. You're still aware of your own surroundings, though the effect requires some getting used to. I feel like in the last five months of having him around as a pet, you've worked on this. Uh, we've worked on this routine. He doesn't know we've worked on this routine. No, I. But I like occasionally yeah. I will just send him out to do things, and I just just relax, sweetie. Don't worry about Much it. Much like your dogs that know they love their cage and love to go into that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Jeez. So, uh, however, I think that I love this if if I feel like most piece. I know that Herschel and Nick, if they want to use since the scene, will see that he has a writer, and we'll probably see that the writer is me. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, they will. They will know that somebody is writing him, and they will probably know that they will probably know that's me, mm. since they know Nick at least knows that I'm, I'm big on the aspects. Yeah. 
Yeah, for sure. But I also love performative oracles. I don't do this like stand in the bathroom and do it private. Oh yeah, Herschel's yeah. 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 very private. If a <laughs> he goes inside, we will return. We will see what's going on I'm just there. Lounging around outside to see in a moment what my little man does. So, and you're standing on here with Serge. Yeah, I've since like distance, and I assume that there's like a little front area, kind of like not oh, like a little bit away from the light. So I kind of like try to like go into the darkness a little bit, pretend just like I'm lounging against the uh, the the wall. Okay, I swear to God, I see this like of all the the like sets that you've made, like I see this the most clearly bar so clearly in my mind. Oh, when you've been shot. So I made my first yeah. kill. Movie. <laughs> I was shot. Yes, he was shot. <laughs> it's like I like I see like the pink neon. Right, I smell it. I can smell this bar. Right. Yeah, makes very empathic. So when you, I also shot, have a hand on my shot. thigh where my holster is with my gun. I have, oh, I have, I have dots and fire. Wow. So I need. Are you trying to remain unseen? Not unseen, just unnoticeable. Unremarkable. Mm. Like not that it's to make stuff. it not look like I'm watching this that sh the scene is about to transpire. Like if I had a cigarette, I'd pull one out and pretend like I was about to light it. Manipulation yeah. and subterfuge, please. I keep on thinking I want to pull a cigarette in like this game. Yeah, charisma. Or maybe movie. appearance. Do you, you God, like, I don't I never know what to do right now. Doing manipulation. No, because you're not no longer around. I am trying to manipulate. Oh, it's composure. Okay, do charisma then. All right, and then and because manipulation requires like okay, okay. like deliberate yeah. being in yeah. the, the thing huge. you know. Like Herschel's Herschel's pretty good at manipulation, right? But Christmas all about that. Yeah, you know. it's like I would say that the big difference is Herschel is more manipulation, Rhea is more uh, charisma. Right. Actually, that's not true. Okay. So I was trying to just move them. Oh, I thought you were rolling all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I also have <laughs> How many dice you roll? I have a four intelligence. Six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, three successes. Calling it now. I like how this makes me jock in this game. One, yeah. two, three, four. <laughs> four. Great. You are off on the side. You you feel pretty confident that you're pulling off this look of I'm being unnoticed. Yeah, it's like take out my phone and just like So Sir Cruise Instagram. As you're standing, Rhea's clearly like distanced herself enough. I mean, you got out of the same car, though. Mm. She's just yeah, but really you said that the car was driving down the road and wasn't all the way up yet. That was just headlights back there. I think he saw us get in, though. That's no, I, I, I got nothing, though. So he's not. He, he's too... We see an older man, human man, stepping out of a dark green sedan. Um, like Scott's age? Uh, <laughs> not that old. Not that old. Jesus you know what? He's right. probably in his early forties. Uh, oh Jesus! <laughs> not bad. Dying. Um, a liver spots. Liver spots. Old man. He's um, got a, 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 a like a five o'clock shadow. Um, and definitely widow's peak. Um, and uh, glasses. And he steps out. He's got a, a long like trench coat around him, very pi. But also, it's October and windy and cold. Um, so he gets out like two blocks down and starts walking towards you and you know that he's coming straight for you it was so straight you've spoken with him before oh yeah we've had lots of conversations <clears throat> evening hello Trent Search. We're on a first name basis now. That's very exciting. Right. This isn't one of your normal hunts. I'm so glad you noticed. I think you can hear his heart start to beat a little faster. Sure. Yeah. Or kiss a girl a little bit. You know where to find me if you need to talk to me, correct? I do. And yet you keep lurking around 
the way you do? I do. I think you like look up at him and you see him like staring into your face, just this quizzical look in his eyes. Who are you? You know exactly who I am. You know my first name, you know my last name. You know when I left the University of Albany, dropped out. You know when I went off the grid, you know who I was with when I went off the grid. You know my parents' names. You know the name of my little sister. That doesn't tell me anything though when his fist slams against the wall. I don't know who you are. Or... Trent, I think you have to ask some very serious questions about He is laughing in the corner. <laughs> the camera, like, he's like, and it's just her, like, trying not to fucking lose it over there. Very <laughs> subtle. So, it's just. Rhea. Trent. Kill it, Prince. I need to know. Why? I feel this way. Trent. If you want to know who I am, then perhaps we should do a sitting. Like a visit? A painting. I paint you. <laughs> okay, can you make... May I suggest manipulation plus subterfuge? Yes. Seems on the level of me. Feels like a persuasion. Yeah. But okay, do, you, do you want me to use persuasion? Subterf uh, what's your end goal with this sitting? I just want him to go to away for right painting. now. And we can work on the end goal later. Subterfuge. Okay. And I have seduction as my specialty. Is that the one here? You can say no. That's fine. Because I have three other dice I'm about to pull in. So. I mean, this you've got this guy confused. I don't know if seduction yeah, like this guy can do. That's fine. <laughs> God, I mean, yes. This is still gonna be nine dice. I know exactly what's going on. Yeah, yeah, because that because the fact that he's dealing with his own uh, heterosexuality right now will negate the seduction bonus. <laughs> All right, because he's like this boy is so cute. What's dice, wrong with me? This dice ball is so deep. It's so big. <laughs> what are you doing? It's almost as much as the one that I do on Blood Magic. Uh, it's still not all that great. It's, no. it's a four. You gotta give four. it a good shake. Spend a willpower. It's four successes. So. Four successes. I mean, for t nine dice, four successes is not terrible. Like, it's like, not bad. Um, it's so, it's I mean, it could be better. It's like, like with 50. a mortal telling a mortal what to do, that's not terrible. I've never been a model. Trent, I want to see the person you are. Call me on Tuesday. We will make a three hour appointment. Okay. We'll do some initial sketches in pencil then. Okay. I'll have Trevor do some photography of you. Rhea's outwardly laughing by now. <laughs> I'm so glad we're in the bar. He looks so mad. He sees her laughing. He's <laughs> probably being shot. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 okay. Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm a great other thing. Yeah. She wants a crib. Huh? She wants a crib. 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 And as he turns to leave, we can see him like. I give him a very genteel handshake. Like there's a sight to lash. And down as the street. I, I do this sort of like just tap the shoulder hug. Oh, he's probably really stiff. And like, his arms don't even come up. And I think. And then I let my hand just sort of rest on yeah. his elbow for just a split second. And I'm like. 
Hey. Just trust that no one in that bar is leaving with me other than the people I came with. The people I came with. Just trust me on that. You have nothing to worry about. And you can tell Trevor's parents he's fine. He blinks. Because you're the, that's, that's, that's why you're that's why you're here, right, sweetie? I, I look back over my shoulder. I said, "That's why you're here, right, sweetie?" Right. Tuesday. Tuesday. And he spins on his heel and walks off down the street. I think the two of you both see him reach into his pocket. Pull out a ring and put it back on his finger. Well, you yes, certainly sir. got that one wrapped around your finger. You told me to deal with it. Uh, by bringing up Trevor, not a good call. Trevor needs to disappear. He can't be told he's like told, telling someone he's okay, and that can raise a lot of questions later. He's already very aware of where the fact that tre Trevor looks at me. So I'm not gonna in a get one. high security situation. Meanwhile, you've been experiencing a second sen set of senses during that conversation. Voices in the back of your mind. I think voices. There's probably some. I want to share sight and sound. I'm not not interested in. Smell or taste or anything. Like right, that. right. I don't care what crappy beer Trevor's drinking. Right. I think there's some Fleetwood Mac on the jukebox. Nice. So the three of y'all have walked into the Palais Royale. Uh, it is a grungy, dingy bar. Uh, wooden floors, wooden bar. There is a five, 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 six uh, man, white man behind the counter. Burly, clean shaven, oh. uh, but with a, a, a buzz hair. We recognize him oh. as Rusty. Rusty had a beard. It's gone now. Oh. Uh, he shaved it. He can do that. Unlike some of you. His beard doesn't grow back overnight. He's uh, No one else is in the bar. Um, and he's literally got a, a, a mug. In one hand, and he's wiping it, and his eyes are glued to a TV screen. To watch it. Uh, Jeopardy. Mm. Trebek. National treasure. Shh, shh, shh. The treasure of Sierra Madre. Ah, damn it. Huh? Rusty. Hi. Ah. Uh, oh. I was hoping for customers. Well, well you, you got us. Happy to pay for our drinks? Um, Please. Just don't take out the shotgun again. Will be my call if that happens. I nod at Trevor as I walk in, and then I go sit down on the opposite side of the bar just casually. Okay. Uh, we'll give them a little bit more time before y'all come in. Mm -hmm. Okay. How, how, how have you been doing? Um, and Herschel, and I'm assuming Nick comes with him, sits yep. at, at the bar. Yep. Your people are fine. No change in status. Now, what do you need? Yeah, we're here uh, for a bit of a an exchange of information. It's the, the information that we have. Um, we believe you, you you would be very interested. Okay, our best people are coming to talk. Can you pull your best people up so we can have a conversation? We would greatly appreciate it. Jack. See Jack. Hey, Ben. Fine. You clean this place up pretty good. You wouldn't happen to have any anything for me to drink. Water. Then things pass. Anyway, this place cleaned up good. So we enter. I am still kind of laughing 
and muttering under my breath, no, you need to get to know yourself by sitting before painting. <clears throat> Hello. This is Rusty. Uh, Rusty is I don't believe we've formally been introduced. Hi, I'm Jupiter. My name is Rhea. Nice to meet you. So you're the captain around here. Prince. One name for it. Prince. This is America. Is it? Yeah, it's, for now. It's, it's complicated. The people who you think are in charge are never the ones in charge. I could say the same to you. That's fair. We should all say the same Which is why we're charge. talking. Uh, there's a, some sh uh, shh. There's a sound of shoes. Okay. Sound of shoes. Sound of shoes. The hills are alive with the sound oh, of shoes. shoes. Um, and a, a female figure steps up out of the basement wearing black on black, pinstripe, pinstripe, and sunglasses. She's got very short hair. Um, and she, she turns and sees all of you and just double taps the side of her glasses and this uh, light yep. begins like scanning you all up and down. Weapons on the table, please. As like before she like while she's talking, I'm pulling out my knife and like putting a, a mm -hmm. uh, bar with with Herschel. my clip. Herschel, mm -hmm. just puts, uh, Herschel takes his bag when she says that, opens it up and just dumps the contents out of the table. And it's just like it's everything and the kitchen sink. It's like there's a pen knife, there are containers of blood, there's a silver but like there's some ribbon. There's like some very ornate scissors. There's a bunch of books. There's also he also has whiteout. He like and then it starts going to things that are clearly not a cult. Where like he also has like an old paperback book. He has a couple pens. He has some pen refills that are totally different. Right. Like, right. <laughs> he also has some dirt that comes out too that he doesn't know why he put it in there. <laughs> um. And she nods uh, as soon as you finish all of that and uh, goes back behind the bar next to Rusty. What do you want? And Your friends are fine. Yes. No change. We're, uh, Rusty told us. Um, this is Rhea. Uh, Prince Rhea. Prince you can see Rhea. an eyebrow come up behind her sunglasses. Well. I'll let you know that only my physical weapons are on the table. Look, um, <laughs> Rhea, can, may, may, may I? Um, and Her Herschel's now just like dumping everything back into his bag. Um, so and these other two, Sir, Tra Trevor, Serge, uh, they're not they're not important. Uh, what is important is um, Jack. Now that we have you here, uh, and he finishes like he puts everything back in the bag. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. my my question is. A fair question. Because the Sabbat. Okay, so that's what we were going to discuss in a more that's diplomatic the way. We've received news that the Sabbat are coming in. That is something that we can band together against, and both we both need each other for this. I mean, if I had a choice, or if I had to choose, she says. I pick you over them. Yes, we keep quiet most of the time. Blushing. We tend to prefer to work in the shadows, and they tend to try to make everything into shadows. And also, we tell you when the Sabbat or something like that is coming. Well, it makes sense. We've got rivals. It's less about rivals and more about... Um, Death. I, would, I was going to say survival, but... Same thing. You should help us now. Because if you help us later, it's going to be too late. And you're going to be all right in a world of shit. It won't be in a world of shit, so you should help us now. How do you know this? Okay. It ain't else. That's sources. Uh, well, um, would, would you believe that I saw it? You saw them yeah, and coming? I, well, I was in the bathroom and... Yeah. Tone down the crazy baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, um, I'm... Maybe we... Have, have you ever, you know, Jack, you'd understand this, um, have you ever, uh, like, fasted for a couple days? 
I, I think Nick like is like this is the princess here. She's really good at this. We should probably let her do the talk. I'm very good at talk. I know you. I, I know. I know. But she's really good at this, and let's let her do that. Okay. Can I have a water? He's resting on, food. and he gets a water, and like the two of them, you can see Jack look at him yeah, over her sunglasses, and they definitely yeah. share a glance, a look. Not drinking the water, just hold it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that you have influences within the current political establishment. What if I did, she says. I believe it's a question of what if. I believe it's a question of you do, and will you, what do you need from us in order to use that connection? I understand how these connections work, and sometimes certain people can only be reached out to once, and I understand that you have favors that you don't want to burn for nothing. Mm-hmm. What do you need for us to put on the table? What? No. No. Who's blood? Any of yours will work. Trevor? What? <sighs> Thank you very much. I'll give you mine. Trevor's Are you up. serious? Yeah. They'll call me Shirley. Call it hazing. Well, that I get. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> I must advise you not to do this. What? Sidebar. What are our options here? I, we don't have many, but I'm not entirely sure if you know what they can actually do with our blood. It might be a lot worse than the savant. You know that we are willing to possibly offer you what you want. What we need to know is that what you can do for us is equally as important of a risk. Right now, all we're, we're active, all we're acting on right now are assumptions. I mean, we came to you to let you know that a situation that can be worse for you is coming, also worse for us. We're not. We're, this isn't. We a, can like, leave the city. You're not doing us any favors by keeping the bat out for us. It's for you too. Uh, let's do. It sounds like some persuasion. Uh -huh. Faux show and manipulation. Okay, perfect. And I would consider this to be a social role, so that's a plus one. Well, what is social? Where does that come from? Uh, that's part of my discipline, I believe. Awesome. Oh, it's from your, your presence. Yeah. Yep. Do you also get a plus one from your looks? Oh, yeah, I do. Jeez. Siren! Just uh, thank you for that. I always forget about that one. I, I, yeah. Uh, so that's I manipulation, you said manipulation and persuasion, which my par my uh, specialty in persuasion is seduction. Right. So. FYI, we're going to go into epilogue soon. Okay. okay. So that's one, two, three, four, nine dice. Can you use the caller when they Yeah. Final moment. Final moment. There's the whole deficit that's going to be worth it. That's one, two. Oh, fuck, that was a bad roll. It's only two successes. Use a willpower. You can reroll um, three. Yeah. I'll do that. Maybe we can use any willpower tonight. Final episode. Uh, that is five successes. Went up from two to five? Yeah. All I got three all three rolls. Yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. So. I got some clients who are looking to microdose. A little V here and there. We'll get them. We'll get me the money I need to help you. 
what if we could provide the funds without providing you the fee? These clients money is not a problem. Are V important. They've got a lot of sway here in the capital district. These are people you want in my pocket. Yeah, and before we start passing over the thing that is us incarnate, maybe we should know what they want. You understand? It's not just a matter of, it's not a commodity. It's We're like looking for a little upper, there. something to give them the edge they need. Provided once. Herschel is going to try to see if she's telling the truth about what she's intending to do. Okay. Um, so that would be definitely insight. What else do you want me to roll? Uh, wits. Wits? All right. Yeah. 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 If, I would also like to do that. Go for it. Because I got a bonus one, and like those, just the thing that Herschel is worried about is that she wants to do study this. Yeah. Okay. If she's just going to give this to Christ, that's fine. Right, so write it once. Shame on you. They're going to ask for it again. Okay. That is four successes. Yeah, like a bad no crits. Game. No. Yeah. Four, just four successes. Yeah, just one. I'm going to burn a willpower to reroll. Three dice. Yeah, I only have one dice to reroll. This ain't no weird world. Yeah. The betting if I want to reroll my one dice for a willpower. So yeah, I will. yeah, it went, I to, three, it went to three successes. So. I have another willpower. I'm going to reroll my dice. Hmm? What? Why? <laughs> I got five successes. Three tens. That's only five successes. But they're crits. So, yeah. you know. Tiger, though. Well, you five and five. one. Yeah. So, you know. Three. 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 Uh, three. So, Herschel. Yes. You know that she. She's telling the truth. Her clients want an edge, and she knows that this product will give them the, the microdosing edge that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. But there's something else underlying this whole thing. And of course, it's always okay. boils down to control. Herschel, uh, sidebar really quick? Yeah, of course. Can we step outside? I don't think that's going to matter. Can they, can they hear outside? I don't know if you know. Yeah. Right. I her, Herschel, like, knowing what magic can do, Herschel's guessing that All right. they have someone. Pull out my phone. I'm going to look at you and be like... Like, just have mics out there. Yeah. They can uh, just do that. Herschel, like, it buzzes and Herschel takes out, like, a, like an old... It's an iPhone, it's a like... Oh, no, no, oh, it's, oh, it's an oh. iPhone, but it's an iPhone, like, 2. <laughs> and remember, uh, Barrett, like, uh, sorry, uh, Mimi mm -hmm. yeah. has, like, done all of our phones yeah. and all of this stuff. Correct. They're not trackable. Um, I'm going to say... <laughs> no! Uh, I'm going like to text him. I'm going to be like, yeah. do you think it's possible to um, take Trevor's blood, who's the thinnest out of all of us right now, and mix it with actual blood? Is that a thing? Like, can we dilute it? To where humans would get a little bit of a kick, but they might not be. It not might not be as potent. I'm gonna roll. I don't know what I would roll for that. Whether that's a cult or it could be blood sorcery. No, uh, I would say it's either a cult medicine. It has to be like a knowledge. Right, it's either a cult or medicine. Then I'll go with a cult because that's my best. With intelligence, that's fine. I'll go with cults, and it's not infernal. Is what I'm assuming. <laughs> no, because. No. That's what I'm good at because of, of all the demons. Herschel's been studying that. Alright. Okay, that's one, two, that's four successes. No. Diluting it yeah. is not going to work out. Yeah. Jonah assumed that, but no. The, no idea. The, it, that, Herschel just says, it, like, you, it takes a really long time and you just get. No. <laughs> Could I just check a cult to see if I can figure out what they're trying to do? I have a dot three in a cult. I mean, I, with that, you. It's not uncommon for people to take vampire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. No, yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. It's not uncommon in the vampire world. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's uncommon in general, of yeah. course. But what are you trying to figure out? If there's any risk. 
to us if they're just consuming it. Uh, you know that the, the only risk from plain consumption would be... Would they get attached to Trevor? Then blood bonding to the kindred who yeah, gives the he's blood. Yeah. That's why he um, was the one I offered. I guess a quick... I wait, 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 say, so it would be blood bound too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want names. If we do this for you, I want names and I want access to their phones. I, I also would, if it's possible... I would like to assist. Assist? With what? With the transaction. You want to be there when the deal goes down? No, I, I don't have to be there because that would be a great breach of trust. Uh -huh. But I would like to, if, it, if it's alright, I would like to bring you the blood and help you prepare it. Well, we pull it now. Then I would like to help you prepare down. it. Again. I want names, and I want access to their phones. I know you have that. Are you really going to get bogged down in these details? There is an invading army coming from the north. We need to be done with this. Make it happen. Fine. Great. Uh, Herschel will like dig into his bag and he like pulls out a syringe. <laughs> no, you just spit in your hand. Yes, I did. That's what we did in the old days. What the eighteen hundreds? No, like the nineteen fifties. We did anyway. Search. Uh, would Would you like to, or should I? Is this same oh, Actually, I don't sir. think I have spit. I think it was just emotion. I was gonna make you rouse the blood to get spit. No. Oh, sir. So Herschel just pulls a syringe out of his bag, um, and and Trevor's like. <sighs> Sir, should you like to, or should I do it? Come here. Let's see, kid. It's fine. I have some. I have some medical practice. He shuffles over to you with his head down. Oh, come here, sweetie. Don't look down. Okay. Ja and uh, Jack, you just tell me when. You just Jack, no. just say when. No, give them one vial. That's all they need. They did not designate how much they wanted. It's fine. Okay. Um, and this is like I'm picturing this is a very old tiny syringe. Um, and, yeah. yeah, it's like one of, because... Do you pour vodka on it to, like, let drink? Yeah. yeah. What a, it's just, no, he's 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 rubbing out the hall. He's getting an embrace while he's... I let him feed for me, so he's yeah. getting an embrace while he's being drawn from. So as soon as, yeah, like, you fine. start pulling, he's yeah. like... <sighs> and, like, bites into your neck. I have, a, I have a dot in medicine. I can kind of draw blood. Uh, <laughs> oh, dude, do you know how many people with two dots in medicine have fucked up phlebotomy? Yeah. No. no. Is hard. Yeah. This is not something that I'm sure I would be great at. The two technocrats. Mm -hmm. Rusty looks away, but Jax watches. And as soon as the vials fill... I'd like to make eye contact with Jax while she watches. Because you're being fed on? Yeah. I just want to leave a, uh, a deep impression. You do? Yeah. All right. Here's a link. Does she have your number? No. 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 You don't have. There's no way. I'll give her an email address that she can send it to that is very, very distantly connected. I'm giving you access to my drones. Appreciated. They fly around. They let me know if something's up. Hit the link in the e in the email that I've sent to this email this inbox. You'll get alerts and names. That'll come. That'll come. Let me make the sales first. Okay. Then I can give you names. All right. Do you have a container, or do you just want the syringe? Uh. Rusty puts out like a a, a beer glass and just like stood, like short like push it like yeah inject e ejects because he's not injecting it slams it yeah. all into the beer beer glass um one I I have a one it's not a favor it's mm -hmm. a very quick thing it's not for now but uh Jack 
if um, you and your fellow mages um, see the need to... Technocrats. Technocrats, I'm so sorry. Um, see the need to perform anything occult um, regarding the Sabbat, um, don't hesitate to reach out. I, w I just don't want us to... Uh, I, j I just don't want to get in your way, and I would rather you not get in my way, so to speak. <laughs> don't worry about that. Also, we could help each other. I assume you will be rousing your own army and, and alerting in your own way. We'll let the labs in NYC know. Great. Uh, contact from Buffalo? We haven't heard from Buffalo. Okay. Yeah. Do you know anyone in Montreal? No. Okay. I'd like to go into final moments. Great. Rhea, will you start us off? Um, I will drive, with your permission, I will drive Herschel home. Perfect. And we will have a conversation in the car yep. about, we can just probably summarize it, I uh, basically uh, tell him about, discreetly, about Babbitt. Which Herschel probably freaks out a bit about. A little bit. <laughs> um, but I only tell him about that one meeting mm. that she has resurfaced. I have not spoken to her, like, not, not uh, just leaving out some information. But just that she resurfaced, I reached out to Irene, mm -hmm. um, and the other last moment will be me writing a letter to Irene to see if she can get any scouts out in the country, uh, or talk to any of the critters. Um, but explain to Herschel, drop the whole... Uh, the whole the magic thing? Calduinic magic, um, and that we're possibly looking for a, another uh, ceviche. Okay. I would, because it's not that bad. During that conversation, Herschel would break, like mention, I would say most of the vision. The thing he will leave out is the child opening his eyes. And knowing that you're there. Yeah. That's the one thing Herschel will not mention. He would, he also might gloss over the laps a bit because he knows that this is not something that he doesn't, like, this is less of Herschel's hiding it from Rhea. It's more, Rhea has more important things to focus on right now, so he doesn't, he doesn't hide it from Rhea. He mentions it, but it, he just like, breezes right past it. Because, he needs high level details. Yeah. Not it's not like, like, he doesn't want to go into this lab, because he also knows, Rhea might then say, well, we got to do something about this lab, when that should not be our focus. Yeah. Right, right. You can prioritize, yeah. but... And then as you, after you leave... And then when I'm, when I'm back at my apartment, I write a note to Irene... Send it off. Yeah. Okay. Right. Serge. I think uh, after we go to feed, and I've also got a feeding restriction. Oh. Oh. Um, I cannot feed on the young and innocent. So we go to. Any other bar in Albany. Except the young, <laughs> no, except the young innocent bar. Yeah. I mean, in, in Albany, anyone over 20. You know? In New York, it'd be anyone over 18. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, and then uh, I think you see Serge preparing sort of a ritual circle to sit amid candles because he wants to try to do a premonition of uh, what's coming in New York. Ooh. Okay, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Let's, let's end with that. Nick. So Nick goes to his uh, cop, or his detective connection, um, Tyra Palmer, and lets her know that, like, and there's a conversation where he is talking to her about like there's some bad shit coming and that she should be like aware of it and keep an eye out for new people coming into town or people setting up 
you know, let him know kind of thing. But he, his parting words are like, I'm going to New York, I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so you have my cell phone, Keep, let me know what's happening. Marshall. Um, I, so Herschel, first I have a question. Did Valerie's body stay separated? <laughs> Are you keeping it separate? He cut it apart to study it. It did stay separated. So the I guess the scene is Herschel in this, it's like the floor is covered in a tarp and Herschel has like, goggles on and like an apron on and he's got gloves and he's working with the body trying to like figure it out and it's like very kind of like Leonardo da Vinci drawings in my mind but like I'm just picturing if art direction wise this is the show animal this is like completely gross but completely beautiful and then there's a moment because he has a lot of hunger <laughs> When he's handling, I would say, probably, like, her arm, and he's, like, trying to look at it, where he just can't stop himself, and he just, I don't know if there's even any blood in there, but he tries to drink it, mm -hmm. and he has an iron gullet, so he can. Dang. So, yeah, he's just, like, we can hear, like, a straw almost <laughs> slurping. And then I think, like, you hear that behind the door as, like, the camera, like, goes out, and, like, you realize this is not a door that goes, it's, like... A door behind a bookcase, behind like a room that's locked with a padlock. Like this is a murder dungeon that he has in this apartment, hidden from everyone. Right? Let's make a roll for your premonition. Uh, I just roused. Oh, there's no. I don't believe there's. That. It's um. There was something. something. I did it. We did something. It's rouse. Um. And it's resolve plus aspects. Okay, there you go. It's it's um yeah. If I deliberately yeah. do it, yeah. so I rouse successfully. Yeah. Resolve plus aspects is five dice. Is five dice. Uh, and that is five successes. Let's nice roll. Yeah. The exterior of this building is dark squat compared to the the buildings around it uh, and the train state the train railway above it you can hear the train kind of rattling above a bar in Bushwick Brooklyn Wonderville it says across the top there is a pride flag in the window uh, and some flashing lights inside. As we zoom in, we can see a room filled with video games, arcade cabinets, and a small stage on which a young looking man, uh, pale with glasses and a beard and brown hair. <laughs> <laughs> Something in Gaelic, perhaps? Like a folk song? or a, uh... That's what it comes off of as. Uh, there's some pain in his voice. And then he looks over and his iPhone on the stool next to him is vibrating. And he looks down at it. And it says, hey, we need to talk. Rhea. And that is where we will end our session. Dear viewers, thank you for joining us this evening. I know it's been um, quite a talkative episode, but we've had a lot to go over. Um, I hope you uh, are in, sorry. Uh, I hope you are interested in um, this season so far. Um, and if you are interested in affecting what happens during the last three episodes of this season, um, then you need to go uh, to this link. 
um, and buy a ticket for our Albany by Night LARP in Brooklyn, New York, here in, uh, in Bushwick. We're in Bedside, but it's not that far apart. Um, get a ticket, show up on the 20th, and you too can rub shoulders with the Court of Albany. Um, but if you're not local, we will be back in two weeks' time with the second episode of Albany by Night. I'm Chris Fernal, and come game with us. Follow the socials, uh, watch the first season on YouTube, everything, all the links are down below. That's it. Have a great night, everyone.